we are figuring out what is the biggest explosion you can make in this game. That's what I thought I was doing, but I ran into one of the most important breakthroughs that this game will ever see, maybe. Can you blow up the entire tutorial house with one explosion? Today we're gonna find out. Ah. I'm gonna change my loadout to minimal. Let's see. What's a good detonator loadout? Alright, so basically, this is how it is. An explosive barrel in every corner of the building. I'm really more interested. Stay up there. We are at a great start, and this one is about to stop giving me explosives. You should never stop giving me explosives. It's a life Yes. Nothing else. Quit that. Okay. This was at the point where I realized there is an inconsistency. I don't think I'm using any of those explosive barrels. Breach charge armed! What's the best angle? Can you do it? You can. Breach charge deployed! You can do multiple breach charges. Explosives are set! What's the max? Oh, okay, no, it's two. It's the max of two. Calm down. Alright. Do we just do it? This is where the video should have ended. I should have triggered the detonator, and then, uh, chain explosion would have happened throughout the whole house and made the whole thing uh, turn into a fireball. Alright. I'm trying to run around and get the best thing. So yeah, nothing really happened. But that's the problem. You saw me put all those barrels in there. I didn't think about that at the time. I was just busy trying to save the explosion. Breach charge deployed. Uh, that's, that's All right, let's try again. Hello from the North Pole. Frag grenade out. What's the big deal? 
Start getting triggered. Recharge set! I'll change that real quick. Nothing was causing a chain explosion. I began to experiment a ton. But first, I wanted to make the house fall down, because, like, it was bothering me. Roll that back. Okay, perfect. Slow it down. That was a chain explosion. I can tell because there's an explosion to the left of the screen about now. That explosion came from this red barrel. Blinking, you'll miss it. Oh, I missed it. <laughs> yeah, I'll slow it down. It was only on screen for 9 frames. That barrel caused this explosion, but what triggered it? Alright. Result 1. No. I assumed that breach charges could not detonate red barrels. So, does fire also not trigger red barrels? The only thing that was constant was that gunshots do trigger red barrels. I assumed I had another constant. If directly on the red barrel, a breach charge could trigger a red barrel explosion. What? Not what you wished for! <laughs> In this specific instance, all of the barrels exploded. Now this supports again that fire does not trigger red barrels. So then I tested, could red barrel explosions trigger red barrel explosions? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight barrels. Hello from the North Pole! Let's take a look. Yep, 
Still eight barrels. Not only does it seem like red barrel explosions can't trigger red barrel explosions, it seems like direct breach charge explosions can't even trigger a red barrel anymore. None of the barrels triggered, which means that a breach charge cannot trigger a red barrel explosion. But wait, what was this then? Uh, okay, so that Better yet, why did this work? This is identical to the two barrel experiment. The only thing I changed was the amount of barrels. So why didn't the eight barrel experiment work? No. No. A little present. But of course, frag grenades. Maybe I'm getting somewhere. Tossing a frag. So yeah, red barrels are inconsistent. If anyone has more knowledge on how these work, or have any uh, experiments you'd like me to try, let me know in the comments, because I read them. Well, goodbye.